you, Coach Colin Bingham and uh, Doug Olson, obviously with us. Coach, uh, uh, had to fight for it, but uh, good performance from your guys, your initial thoughts. Yeah, you always have to fight for it. Um, it was a good win for our team over a uh, uh, Monmouth team that ha I think they feel like they're a playoff caliber football team, uh, and they might be right. They're awfully good. They're well coached. They just do a really nice job. They play hard. Uh, schematically, they're very sound. Uh, they, they did some things to try to manage the game that were effective. And, you know, from our standpoint, it's great to win. And we did a lot of good things as well. But there's certainly a lot we need to clean up moving into next week or, or uh, we're not going to we're not going to survive next week. Bobby, they cut it to, I think, six. There yeah. In the third quarter, but you guys had two really efficient drives. What did you think of the offense's ability to kind of keep you guys a little bit? Yeah, we, we really had three efficient drives till we coughed it up. So, you know, those those are the mistakes I'm talking about we can't make. But Dalton was uh, was really good. He did a nice job. Uh, aside from the one play, he was he was awfully good. Uh, you know, it, when you need it and you can go down the field and get points, whether it was coming out of the locker room in the third quarter or those two drives you're talking about, uh, thought it was great. After the South Dakota game, we're talking about how good the wide receivers were doing after today. The tight ends get a bunch of touchdowns. What did you think from, uh, from that group? Yeah, the tight ends and, and Mitch Roberts had a big day. And everybody uh, of those three, Mitch and our, and our two tight ends, really caught the ball well and, and got good hard yards after a catch and after contact. And, you know, Dalton was seeing it well found the right guys it was it was fun it was uh i thought the uh offensive coaches had a nice plan and and did a really good job against them being able to kind of close out the game with you know, marcus on the ground like what does that say about where you are up front maybe compared to last week well i think it's what good teams do and we didn't uh we didn't run the ball very effectively a week ago uh and our guys kind of took that to heart and we rushed for 220 some Today, our goal was 200, and we got after it, and it was fun. And obviously, the backs are, are running hard. Marcus had a, had a great day. I can't wait to watch the one run on film. Um, had the, <coughs> excuse me, we had the one call back. Uh, that was another, whatever, 40 plus yard run. So uh, I'm pleased with, uh, in my initial impressions, I'm, I'd be pleased with our run game. And on the other side, what do you think you guys well, our goal was 50, and they got 81. So um, I don't know what to say. Our goal was 50. They got 81. We didn't we didn't uh, meet expectation. But with that being said, uh, that is the the number four rushing or was the number four rushing offense in the nation. Um, they're good at it, and you know if you take away the two uh, jet sweeps. Uh, with that, I think they probably got 20 yards on those two plays or maybe a little more. Um, play we practiced all week and didn't effectively defend a couple of times. If you take those two out, it was a pretty dang good effort by our defense. They're swarming, they're getting off blocks, and they're tackling well. Speaking of people who are tackling well, Dante, what was the key for you guys on defense? Um, I don't know if there's a specific key, but you know we, we play hard and um, – Try to try to get the ball back in our offense's hands, and, and if the ball's in our offense's hands, they, the other team can't score. So, so that's the overall goal of you know playing defense. So, I thought that you know we gave some things up, and um, but overall we got the win, and, and that's what we're here to do. Dante, when they when the coaches present a goal like that, 50 yards rushing against a team that has a premier running back like that, how, how does that affect the way you guys go back to business? Uh, you know, it fires us up. You know, it's exciting to see a team that's averaging almost 200 yards a game to, to try and hold them under 50. And, you know, we didn't get it done, but um, that's uh, get, make some new goals this week. Coach, you, go ahead. Go ahead. The physicality of the defense, <coughs> how much do you appreciate the, the way you guys, how, how hard you play, how physical you play uh, as a defense as a whole? You know, I love the every single one of the guys on my team. and and the defensive side of the ball around and hit. And you know, that's what we're trying to do. And, and it's awesome when we get to the ball physical. And that's, uh, that's how the coaches train us to do. Colin, take us through the first touchdown uh, on, the, on the fake play. You probably know you're going to be running wide open. So what, what's it like as the play develops? What do you see? Uh, I mean, it, it 
it's set up really well how we wanted it to. Um, you know, Bryson had a really good block on the outside to keep Samori there, and uh, O line did a good job, and then Samori just threw a perfect <coughs> ball. Anything in particular you were finding on this defense seems like you and Bryson were both you and Bryson were both getting open in the middle of the field. Is, is there anything particular that had to help you guys do that? Uh, I mean, our coaches put together an incredible game plan. I thought um, everything from passing to the running game and some other stuff like that. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. And then from there, just knowing kind of what their tendencies are and expecting them to do certain things, and then just going from there and playing and reacting. After. Bonnet cuts it to six. You guys get that touchdown drive. You have the long third yard catch. What's the mindset of the offense coming out of you know that drive? Uh, we gotta we gotta score a touchdown here. We gotta extend the lead. Um, I don't. Was that the fourth quarter at that point? Or, I mean, that's been one of the things we preached all off season was just finishing the fourth quarter. We wanted to go down, have a physical drive, run up some clock, score a touchdown. Here. Kickoff return for a touchdown seems like a baseball now. It's almost like you hit a home run and they're kind of intentionally walking you the rest of the way, just doing the, the pooch thing. From your guys' perspective, are you like sure we'll take it on the forty every time? Oh, certainly. I mean, that's a sign of respect. It's kind of expected. We always, I mean, we he's on it. You know, and we tell these guys in camp if you're any good, they'll quit kicking it to you. And uh, you know, it's, there's a couple of things. One, you know, some schools. Like when I got to Colorado, Colorado had been 20 years without returning a kickoff for a touchdown. I mean, it's hard to do, and we kind of expect our guys to do it here and there uh, within a season. So, and that's the expectation of the guys on that team. So, uh, wasn't sure they were going to kick it deep to us at all, and they did. And these guys made them pay. What's going on over there? And then these guys made these guys. You know, Heiner, I love you. Uh, that's, that's called that's effort, Heiner. That's awesome. Play. Nothing goes undone around here. We play, we, everybody gives effort. Heiner's giving effort. Make sure this is right. Go, Aaron. But, yeah, the, uh, you know, we didn't anticipate they they kick it to us, and they did. Uh, we actually missed a block at the point of attack, but Eli Alford ended up getting two. Bing ended up accounting for a looper that we hadn't practiced. Um, and then, obviously, he he just ran a little weave on the kicker, and it was pretty smooth sailing. Um you know the field position battle in the kicking game was a uh, whitewashing. They wouldn't kick it to us. I don't. I don't know that we were inside the forty at all, other than the one he fair caught at the thirty-one or two. I mean, they just. That's what it was. We we. Uh, our special teams guys were awesome today. Coach, one hundred and eighteen yards, four scores for your tight ends. Is that something that, you, that was in the game plan going in that you saw? Kind of well, it's always in the game plan. Uh, every week, it's more about what they choose to take away or defend. And you know they they the wide receivers uh, in three games leading up to today played pretty well, and I mean you can do some coverage things that that are a little looser on the inside, a little tighter on the outside. And Dalton did a good job finding them. These guys did a good job of catching it. I was just going to ask Colin about that too. Being you guys being involved in, in, in what was open today, what's that like to kind of get the tight end group kind of making some scores and some touchdowns? Yeah. Uh, it's definitely, I mean, it's fun. I was, we were kind of joking about it pre-game, me and Bryson and stuff. But, uh, I mean, it's always fun to help the team out, get some first downs. Uh, I mean, the O-line did a great job protecting. Dalton did a great job finding us. Um, and then, yeah, the coaches just put together a good game plan to get everyone open, I thought. Bobby, how did you sum up the non-conference portion of the schedule? And, and what do you think you guys right? Maybe you oh. You know that we, uh, winning's hard, and we've got three of them. We'd like to have four, but uh, you know, I I really love our football team. I love how they play. I like who the men are in our locker room. Uh, I like their approach to the game, their focus, and I I think that we've you know made us somewhat made a move forward in terms of who we are and how we approach the game. So uh, I like we're obviously I I feel good about where we are. Yeah, they should hold up cards. How many do they get them? There should be a you know a card in the north end zone. They should hold them up. Kind of like K's and well, Exactly. 
uh, they were great. And, you know, we kind of had the call to arms this week a little bit. And, and uh, you know, our our folks are, are back getting with it. It's fun to see. And I think everybody's having fun, in, including us. So hope you guys are too most days. In fact, get your questions in because I'll be grouchy on Monday. <laughs> All right, see ya. For the uh, TV guys who didn't hear it, that kick return by Malik is the longest in modern race history, the longest since 1936. What constitutes that as modern? Uh, well, they changed the rules. Is, is 102 is the